Hello everybody, welcome to 2018 and I have the best way to start this off by crashing my car. So, when I say crashed it, basically I'll tell you what happened then I'll show you the damage. So I was driving just around normal street, so I didn't know the area that well and I was at traffic lights, I was going slow, had to turn right, so I turned right. I wasn't even going fast, I was going just like under the limit and all over was that's probably really shit sound effect, but that's what I heard. And I was like, alright, so that's my splitter being scraped up. Let's go see how bad the damage on the splitter is. So I was like, alright. And I didn't have my tools in my car. So I got out and realised the splitter was hanging on by one strut bar. I was like, ah, well this isn't good. So then, I was like, okay, so I've got to get this splitter off this bar. But I have no tools. So I don't have my like, socket set to actually undo the bars. So I was like... So I've either got to pull through my bumper, which will then make my bumper sag, or I've got to snap the splitter and like twist it with my hands right now. So that's what I had to do. So I'll show you the damage now. Luckily, the way I think of it is, it could have been a lot worse, the bumper could have came off, or something a lot worse. And I'm just going to show you the damage, and then it'll be a lot easier for you to understand. So, yeah, it was just hanging on by what this one here, which is now bent. So this is just flapping around while driving. Um, the middle bumper grill disappeared. I have no idea where that went. That just went. Uh, this came a bit loose at the top, slid a bit. But I'm going to have to take that out to open this anyway. Um, there is a bit of a gash here where the, obviously the rod's pulled out. My tow bar was a bit loose, so I just pulled that out. And then obviously the seals are okay. So I came down here to check these. This one is alright to be fair, it's not really that loose. But this side, like it's just unclipped a bit. Like I just pushed it back in now. But yeah. So luckily for me, like the way I think of it, if it was on But I've got my spirit in the back here and my new wheels, so I can't show you, so you'll be careful. This is what's left of my splitter. So this side, okay. Missing a whole fucking corner. Obviously, this is the bar that snapped, not bothered about that. But yeah, where this bar is obviously still in, the other one wasn't. It's a bit cracked, so I literally had to just yank a chunk out here. I'll put it back on, but let's be honest. Yeah, that's not going to work. I did have a thought of maybe cutting this off and using it as like a... I could put it underneath my rear diffuser, it's like a rear diffuser fin. Or just use the material for something and just get a bit creative. But whether that'll work or not, I don't know. But... I just thought I'd run through that whole section of this video first and now uh, what we're going to do is just go for a drive and I'm going to talk about all my plans and everyone always sets itself a goal on New Year's, that's what everyone does they're like, oh this year I'm going to quit smoking and I'm going to buy this, buy that and I'll give, give you a run through my goals of the year so let's get in the car because it is absolutely freezing out today and we'll give you a run through boys So I tried to go for the drive my GoPro Keeps dying and now it's fully dead because I keep forgetting to charge it. So I can't drive and it's getting dark, so I need to make this video pronto. So basically, um, yeah, so 2017 was probably like one of the maddest years of my life. I started, oh, I had my Instagram 1000 followers when I started of the year, sort of thing. That's when I started properly modifying my car, and now it's on 6000. And then obviously I started my YouTube in about mid-March and I finished the year literally but when we was about to leave the hotel to go out clubbing last night I was on 7,500 subscribers which is pretty fucking mad that's like three quarters of 10,000 so if I was to reach 10,000 by mid-March that would mean I've done 10,000 in basically a year which is mad so if I can do that I'll be very happy but yeah 
So it was probably one of the maddest years in that perspective. Like I made, I've met so many friends. I've got like I started with no sponsors and sponsored by Element Seven Performance, CUK, X1 Automotive, now AT Motorsport, and then the company right here. I'm sort of representing for them. I've got all things going on with other companies. I've got my own company coming out soon, which you obviously you'll hear about very soon. We've just got like merchandise, stuff like that, something relatable for everyone. But I've got to keep that on the low. That's all you need to know. So you stay tuned for that. And yeah, like every, every car meter I go to now, I, I like bump it through to watch my videos. And you show like just randomly, just meet people. And it's, like it's pretty insane. So everyone every year always says like, my New Year's resolution is stop this, do this, do that, go on diet, fuck no. And they don't do it, let's be honest. So my New Year's resolution, I want to get a board from my room of like, my goals for this year. So, I'll list you, well one of them was to be sponsored by a tuning company, but I've done that. Did that yesterday, so that was sick. So, I've only really got about two. One of them, I want to reach, I want to try and reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Because that would just be insane. 25,000 amazing. So, if I can hit 25,000 by the end of the year, I'm going to grind for it. And then, yeah, so that is a big one. And then the second one, I want to get like my car featured in like a fast forward magazine, a performance forward magazine. I don't know how it really, I don't know if they contact you or you've got to sort of like promote to them, like send them pictures of your car and a description. But if I can get into like a magazine this year, that'll be insane. And then the third one, it's not really like a goal. It's just I want to sort of improve the quality of my videos, learn how to use better editing softwares, maybe get multiple cameras, all different stuff like that. Because mine are very basic, my videos. I'm really honest. I use Windows Movie Maker. It's like the most basic bitch like editing software there is out there, but I just, I understand it. So if I can learn how to use a better software then obviously I can make better videos oh and another goal it's not really like a goal but I want to try to upload at least twice a week I said that um, when I hit 5,000 and I have been or like twice or more twice is like that's what I know I need to produce two videos a week unless I'm like ill or something and I can't but I will produce two videos a week and then obviously just goes as many shows and stuff as possible that sort of goes without saying so yeah that's sort of my my goals and that's where I've probably like set the bar for 2018 for me but like I never realized how much my YouTube would like kick off as it has which is just insane so yeah Plans for the car this year, obviously it's going to be wrapped because it's sponsored by a wrapping company now and I've said that I want to get it wrapped. Uh, performance wise, there's quite a few other mods I can do. I'd love to get like a sort of project car, but I mean, it's all about money at the end of the day. I can't really afford to get one. But there's so much I can do to this, but it just depends on what route I want to go down on modifying this car. And obviously I've got to pay to fix it now, which is probably going to be about 130 quid for another split. I mean, yes, it sucks, but the way I think of it, it could be a lot worse. So, positive mindset. That's how I'm thinking of this. So, yeah, I hope this video sort of explains 2018 for you, what happened with my car, because I did crash it, which sucks, but you live and learn. And, yeah, I hope you all had an amazing 2017. Hope you're excited for the, well, this year now. Like, hope you're ready to do what you want to do uh, so I'll leave it here don't want to bore you too long like the video if you want to comment how your 2017 was what you'd like to see on the channel maybe in 2018 obviously smash that subscribe button and I'll leave you with this which I heard in the motivational video and I thought it sounded really good and it's do what you love and love what you do peace out boys I'll see you in the next one I forgot to plug the hats. So yeah, basically these are like full suede hats. They come in this like khaki greeny colour, um, black, like a beigey cream, and grey I think. I can't remember. 
You want one of the, if you want one of these, like I don't wear caps, but these are suede and they're comfy and they look, they look pretty sick and I like them. So if you, any of you want one, I'll leave a link down below, click on the website, use the kick promo code B7TMY to save yourself 10% off one of these. So I think they're about 20 pounds, it'll be about 18 pounds and I mean, for the quality of the product and how well they are, and I was speaking to the guy who manufactures them all and he's a really like honest down to earth guy and what he's producing is so good and so underrated so please pop down use my code get yourself a hat they're nice they're comfy and great quality great service i can't give any better explanation why i need to do that so i'll leave you now